And welcome back to Let's Play Mother 1. Uh, since last time, I did a bit of grinding off screen and got all my equipment. Nintendo now has the best armor in the game. Not that that's saying much, since that this is the only place where you can actually buy armor. So anyways, let's take a look inside this giant pink castle. This is Queen Mary's castle. Oh, hi. Let's go see the queen. Oops. Because this is a 90s RPG, that's usually what you have to do in every single RPG back then. I don't think that's how you scold people. Aww. Sounds like she needs our help. There is nothing in here. Wrong way. This area is a bit confusingly laid out. Just have to go through here... And through here. This is the throne room. We'll come back after looting the castle. Because this is an RPG and we can do that. Let's see. I forget what's in each uh, present. Oh, hey, a flash dark. What the hell is a flash dark? I don't remember this item. Oh, I get it. It's useless. Yeah, there are a lot of useless items in this game. I'm trying to talk to the present, apparently. Oh, hey, an antidote. Not really that important. Actually, you know what? I'm going to a different room first. Uh, is this the room I'm thinking of? Yes, it is. This is the most important room in the castle. You can only pick one present. And then the rest disappear. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's a ruler. I forget what these are. This one's a life capsule, I think. This one is a PSI stone, but this one is the important one. This is the one I'm taking. This is the boomerang. Nintendo now has all of his equipment he needs until the end of the game. Boomerang is the second best weapon for him. Actually, it's the second best weapon for almost every character. So I don't really need to worry about equipment that much anymore. Anyways, let's loot the rest of the rooms. Uh, I don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that. Okay, let's check the presents. Aw, what a jib. What's in here? Trash! Got it. How about this one? And that's okay. If I remember correctly, there's not much else in here that's actually useful. The boomerang is really what I wanted. Everything else, I can do without. Let's just get rid of these. They're cluttering up my inventory. Oh, forgot one. Ooh, a magic herb! And I'm pretty sure that automatically goes into- yeah, no, it doesn't. Oops. Oops, I accidentally ate it. Oh well. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to go into the magic bag, but oh well. Forget how that works, it's been a while. Hey, another magic herb! Uh, okay, let me see if I can get this right. Do I give it- no? Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. And forget it, it can stay outside my inventory. Pretty sure you have to actually make magic herbs for them to go in the big bag. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Oh, whoa. Aw, maybe we can cheer her up. This is a very drab throne room. Yay, friendship! I can have as much friendship as I want. Oh, never mind. Sure, why not? Well, not it's eight segments long, but that's beside the point. So that's why we're collecting the melodies. To help her remember. Well, now we have a goal. What effect it'll have, the game never really tells us. But now we have a goal to collect all eight melodies. We're already three-eighths of the way there. Move. Now then, there are a few more things in Magic Can I want to do before leaving. I collect some more herbs. Now if you check these uh, red bushes, you can get some red weed. 
Get it, weed. One minute. Anyways, remember, weed, get it? Now, if we take the weed over to the magic fountain... Uh, actually, do I have room for another one? No, I don't. Never mind. Let's head over to the magic fountain. Uh, it's over here. So far as I'm not getting as many random encounters as usual, and now I just jinx myself. Anyways, uh, let's use those magic, or those red weeds in the magic fountain. Yay, we got magic herbs. Now then, I don't remember how to put these in the big bag. Uh, crap. It's been a while. Oh well, we don't really need to. But yeah, you can always get unlimited magic herbs there if you really want. Let's see what's over here. Not much, besides a random encounter. Oh hey, I never meet, met this guy before. Say hello to Four Eyes. He's dead. Yeah, the boomerang is kind of twice as powerful as our previous weapon. Let's see here, nothing over here. I went the wrong way. Oh hey, a Groucho, I've been looking for one of these. Now the thing about Grouchos are you don't want to attack them. You just want to guard and let them be on the way. Stop it! You're supposed to be friendly! There we go. And he gives you a bunch of XP for doing that. For not killing him. If more enemies did that, I probably wouldn't kill them either. Ah, crap. Magic sni- Actually, you know what? Let's try out our new weapon on them. We can actually do damage to them now. Nice. And they can barely touch us. Good. Come on, die already. Thank you. Yeah, this is gonna take a little while. They still- Oh my lord! I wasn't even paying attention there for a second. Um, Nintendo, please don't die. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, Nintendo, I believe in you. Okay. Oh, at least we gained a level from that. But yeah, Nintendo never learns any offensive PSI, so for the most part, his battles are just gonna end up him just attacking the enemies over and over and over. Anyways, let's keep going. Uh, how much HP do I have? And uh, let's just use a magic herb. Why not? Yum! Weed that has been soaked in the water. Anyways, there should be some more houses down here, and then we'll be done. Is that a monkey? Um, yes? This place makes my brain hurt. Hey, another cat! Okay... Um... Maybe... Oh, hey, a ribbon! Can I have it? Oh, but that's sexist! Nintendo might want to wear a pretty, pretty ribbon. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. He looks friendly. What guitar playing? This place is weird. Okay. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, I think I'm done with this area. We'll be coming back to magic. Oh, hey, a reb you did. Anyways, like I was saying, we're going to be coming back to magic Cant quite often in this game, actually. Mostly to pick up more equipment, because... Anyways, let's keep going. We'll be coming back here quite often to buy equip equipment. Anyways, let's leave before I get any more random encounters. Now, to leave Magic Hand is kind of tricky. Hey, look, a well. Hey, look, more wells. Um, only one of these will actually lead to the exit. 
Uh, it's not this one. It's this one. One second, I have to sneeze. Never mind, it went away. Anyways. So, this area is kind of confusing. In the Japanese version, this was actually a giant maze. But in the American version, it's a lot easier. All you have to do is go... After this random encounter. Eh, just another dad's eyes. Anyways. Yeah, in the original version, this was a giant, confusing maze. In this version, all you have to do is go right... Left... Left. Oops, I missed. And then right again. There we go. Oh, crap. Holy crap. Hey, multiple enemies. Aw, oh, it's an entire family of eyes. Let's kill the dad first. Ow. Oh, right, continuous attack. Some enemies can attack more than once in a row. And nothing too tough. Mostly because they can't actually do very much damage to me. Actually, now that I think about it, we should have taken out Mom's eyes first. Because she can do twice as much damage as everyone else. And by twice as much, I mean two points of damage. Which actually kind of adds up when our HP is still pretty low. Yay, we won. Anyways, let's go through this area. Ooh, a present! Uh, actually, I think my inventory is... No, my, I have room. Never mind. Oh, great! More herbs. I think I'm just gonna use one. No. I think I'm gonna just use one. Nintendo... Ah! Anyways! Let's keep going. Never... Okay, anyways. Enough of the random... I can't wait to get... Ah, you know what? I'm showing this. I can't wait to start getting repel rings so I can... Oh. Ow. You're supposed to be friendly, Mr. Groucho. Mr. Groucho, why? Thank you. Anyways, I can't wait to start getting repel rings so that I can start avoiding enemy encounters. At least we got a level out of that. Uh, what did Nintendo learn? I don't think he learned anything, this one. Oh no extra HP. Okay, seriously, this is getting annoying. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Groucho. Anyways. Anyways, treasure chest. Hi, right, PSI stone. We can now restore our PP. That sounds dirty. Yeah, it's basically just a uh, PP restoring item. What the? Ugh. Ah, four eyes go away. This is why I don't like this game as much as Earthbound. Random encounters up the ass. Also, Nintendo learned something. I wish he would tell you what he learned. Uh, he. Oh, PSI shield. Okay. I don't really use shield in this game. Oh, hey, a dragon! Yeah, we can't wake him up yet. We're gonna have to come back later for Mr. Dragon. What's down? Oh, pfft. Apparently a random encounter is down here. Oh my god, fish! Well, say hello to the boss of the area. I'm not joking. This is the boss of the area. It's a fish. I don't know why he's the boss, but... Well, he's kind of strong besides that, though. Don't know why I decided to make a random fish a boss. But yeah, not much strategy for this for this battle, just keep hitting him. And he died really quickly because of my boomerang. Anyways, but this is what he was guarding. I don't have any room in my inventory, do I? No, I don't. One second. Anyways, like I was saying, this is what he was guarding. The onyx hook. This lets us go back to Magic Hand at any time. We're going to be using it a lot. So I think that's a good place to end this episode. So next time on Let's Play Earthbound Zero, or Mother One, we're just going to continue through this cave. The end is pretty close. So till next time.